Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range and we are reviewing the new Walther PD380. You would be shocked at how many people carry a 380. Why do I say that? Well, I just did a survey with my recent video called Choose Only One and there were so many people that said I carry a 380. The PD380 is very much like the PDP in terms of some of the features. It has the performance duty grip. Okay, a lot of people like that with the cross directional texturing. Super terrain slide serrations. A very lightweight spring. And a lot of people like that. You consider seniors, some people with injured hands. I hear about that. Some of the women may like that. And it is very soft shooting. It has a very wide trigger. Okay, we'll see that very wide trigger. Nine round single stack magazine. It is a decent shooting handgun for what it is. Now, what is it? It's a 380 ACP with a 3.7 inch barrel and ambidextrous thumb safety. It is hammer fired. So the single action trigger pull right around six and a half pounds on my scale. And then it is double action as well. It also has a paddle magazine release it is ambidextrous okay it's on the trigger guard a lot of people like that okay people like the push button people like the paddle whatever but three dot sights little sight hole indicator up top there a two slot pick rail the pd380 msrp on this is 449 so here we've got the new release from walther i like that grip the nine round mags does come with two and with that you get three finger contact with that extension right there let's see how I do one handed with the PD 380 I picked up a box of ammo on the way out here very expensive it, it, it has not dropped in price at all sticking with the larger still learning the gun All right, that was six rounds. The 380 ACP was for target load, cellular, and blunt was 26 bucks. And I, I saw other places that were 30 bucks for a box of 50 at target load. So that is still pretty expensive. It does not have a slide stop. It has an internal slide stop, not on the outside. So in order to drop the slide, you have to remove the mag and manually drop the slide. The ambidextrous thumb safety also works as a decocker because it puts a plate in front of the firing pin and then you just manually drop that. I need to make a correction. I said the side hole indicator was on top. It's actually on the side. Can you see the brass in there? One of the reasons people like 380 is the lack of recoil. It is a very soft shooting round. We'll see here. There's like very little to it. It's like nothing. Disassembling the PD380 is interesting. With the hammer back, I put the safety down, which puts the block over the firing pin. I'm going to manually put it back, pull these levers down, and push the slide off of the frame. You can see the frame rails are pretty long, and it does have the serial number on the trigger chassis engraved in metal to reassemble just going to put it in there make sure that it is back and that time it went all the way back sometimes you have to push the levers down to get it back into position but pretty simple process with this pistol let's see how the pd380 does with a lipris test we'll take it off safe load around Whoa. Come on, man. Boop, 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 boop.
It passed easily. The 380 or the PD 380 passed the Lipris test. The loaded weight with this poly frame hammer fired handgun with 10 rounds of 380 is 24 ounces. Comes with two nine round magazines, nice feel, super terrain, slide serrations, light spring weight, easy to shoot, 380. Yeah, the ammo is expensive, but the gun is fairly priced for a mid-size 380. Many people say it looks like the, the PK 380, and it has that same profile, but it's performance duty, and it has some additional features that the PK 380, which is discontinued, does not have. But a decent trigger pull, nice wide trigger, ambi, magazine release, has some advantages to it. If you love 380, which many people do, this would be a viable choice. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.